Both Oswin and Clara Oswald were notable for their brilliant hacking skills. Clara gained the ability from being uploaded by a spoonhead. Oswin's hacking abilities were so great that she even managed to hack into the pathweb of the Daleks and erase every memory of the Doctor from every Dalek in the universe, something that even the Time Lord himself was unable to do. Clara, despite apparently losing most of what the Spoonhead had uploaded, still possessed sufficient hacking skills to quickly and successfully use Jack Harkness' Vortex Manipulator to escape from the Zygons, despite having no prior apparent knowledge of the 51st century device. She later was able to instruct Danny Pink on how to activate the Doctor's invisibility watch, despite having only seen the Doctor do so once. Though at one point she apparently did not know how to use the 21st century streaming media app iPlayer. Clara's various incarnations were very good at looking after children. Her Victorian incarnation could change her accent easily and was able to play the part of both a London barmaid and a governess. Victorian Clara's fake accent would only slip when she was shocked or frightened such as when the ice governess barged into the Latimer children's bedroom. Clara quickly mastered the ability to pilot an unfamiliar alien vehicle, having previously only watched the doctor piloting it, and later obtained a motorbike. Clara was skilled at using some guns and was a good strategist. She could use anything around her to her advantage, such as when she suggested lowering an electric cable into a moat, but when she tried to attack a Cyberman with a mace, it just wrenched it out of her hands. At some point, Clara gained the ability to operate the TARDIS doors by snapping her fingers, an ability previously demonstrated only by the doctor. She also learned how to pilot the TARDIS using its telepathic interface, becoming the first known companion to do so, though without the doctor guiding her she wasn't accurate in her destinations, though she nonetheless was able to pilot the TARDIS to Gallifrey and a point early in the doctor's lifetime. She later used the circuits again to pilot the TARDIS to a specific location in Paris in 1923, and managed pinpoint accuracy, though it would seem the TARDIS assisted her. But fiddle with settings on the control console on her own. After the doctor passed out after erasing all memory of her, Clara displayed the ability to fly the stolen TARDIS back to her own time period and deposit the doctor in Nevada without guidance from the doctor or using the telepathic circuits and later used her TARDIS to retrieve the Doctor's TARDIS and transport it to Nevada. While Ashilder consulted a manual for information on the TARDIS's functions such as its chameleon circuit, Clara was completely comfortable flying the unfamiliar TARDIS, planning to have adventures of her own with Ashilder before going to face her death. At some point during her encounters with the Paternoster gang, Clara learned the art of lockpicking from Jenny Flint. And when she stated that she had been learning Taekwondo after school, though she had little opportunity to display her skills. She was later said to be aiding her students in learning the martial art. Clara also once used a sword in battle. She was also a skilled swimmer, able to dive to the bottom of a lake to access the submerged TARDIS without breathing equipment. At some point, Clara gained a measure of authority with UNIT due to her association with the doctor. When the organization was unable to contact the doctor, they contacted her instead, and not only was her directions in lieu of the doctor followed, but they even gave her authority to negotiate with Missy and command a team of unit snipers to the point of being authorized to order Missy to be shot. She also similarly was granted authority to command unit soldiers. She was only one of four individuals granted access to the Black Archive following the peace agreement between the humans and Zygons and was one of only a handful of people aware of the nature of the Osgood box and the presence of more than 20 million Zygons are living on the Clara became effectively immortal as their physical body, despite being able to move around and do anything, normal person dis was frozen in time between one second and the next, right before her death from the quantum shade, removing her ability to age and die as she had to go back to the trap street and face her death due to being fixed point in time.